Hi, my name is Linda Simpson and I am running for state representative in the 35th district, position 2. I wanted to thank you for taking time from your busy day to listen to this video statement. A little bit about myself, I am a United States Navy reservist. I am the teacher on staff for the Bremerton Boys and Girls Club. I have a Washington State teaching certificate. I have an undergraduate degree in biology and a master's degree in elementary education. I have two special needs children in the Bremerton School District. My husband is a Kitsap County Deputy Sheriff, and he has served two tours in Iraq for the Army National Guard. I wanted to talk today about the priorities we have and how we're actually going to fix those priorities or fix the problems that we have. So I need to give you solutions to the problems that are facing our state. So what are my top three priorities? Balancing the budget, stimulating the economy, and helping businesses grow, and reforming education, true education reform. So how are we going to balance the budget? In 2002, Governor Locke established the priorities of government. We need to get back to those priorities of government and rank them. If education is a paramount duty of the state, and it is according to our Constitution, then it needs to be funded. Safety needs to be funded. It too is a core function of government. So we need to make sure corrections has plenty of money. Law enforcement has plenty of money. And then health. We need to make sure our citizens are healthy and we can do as much as we can as far as helping the citizens stay healthy. And I think that the best way to balance the budget is to getting back to those priorities of government. How can we help stimulate the businesses? Recently, the business and occupation tax went up 20%. That is detrimental to small businesses. Why did it go up? Because there's 161 exemptions. So when certain businesses don't pay, that means those that do have to pay more. That isn't fair. Also, we need to add privatization not complete privatization to the workers' compensation, but we need to allow competition to lower the price. And as far as education is concerned, 23.5% of our state budget is for K-12 education. In 2008 and 2009, the Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction said on their website $9.9 .9 billion was available or given to teach 1 million students. That is plenty of money. Let's hold our, our Office of Superintendent of Public Instruction accountable for teaching those students. There's plenty of money. We need to see real results. So I think accountability and reforming the curriculum. They need to get back to teaching the reading, writing, and arithmetic. That is absolutely vital to the success of our children. I recently saw a little teeny book that was published in 1933, I think, and it was about this thick. It was eight years of teaching math for children. It was basic facts, and it was, it was the simplest way to teach. It was the easiest way, and it allowed the children the opportunity to see it in the simplest form possible, and they were able to learn. So those are the things that we need to focus on as a state, and we can make it happen. It can become a reality. We can have a better Washington for everybody. Thank you very much again for taking the time to listen to my statement. My name is Linda Simpson. I'm running for state representative in the 35th District, Position 2. Thank you.